I doubt. I doubt. I I doubt it will suffice. I will. Thank you. So what is up, y'all? Today is May 22nd. And, uh, fuck, it's been two weeks now. I had to wait eight days in Chama for new shoes. And then I waited another uh, fucking six days in Pagosa, Durango. Because uh, by that time, I had a storm coming in and I kept debating and stressing out about waiting for a group. I mean, I've already been off trail for two weeks. My feet grew real itchy and I'm just gonna hike my own hike and I'm gonna hike both I'm gonna hike the San Juans the South San Juans either when I'm done with the hike or two or three weeks from now and I could get a ride back I have some uh, people lined up that can help me out either way I'll be hiking it this year no big deal I'm just happy to be out here I'm driving myself crazy being in town that long so I just gotta get walking, gotta keep walking north. But I'll holler back at you guys in a bit. That fucking two weeks was a bad idea. My hamstring, like the back of my hamstring right here, it's so fucking tight. I feel like I fucking pulled a hamstring on my left, behind my left knee. Oh, it's getting worse. A little over 15 miles in. Oh man, this is getting so tight. I see would be in Colorado. Oh, gardener snake. All right, what's up y'all? So ended up just doing 17 miles and pulled over because my hamstring is getting tight and it's got to be the two weeks off and all this weight on my back so uh gotta take her easy but i'll get back at you guys in the morning good morning it's may 23rd and i am so happy to be back on trail i could really give a shit what it is i'm just happy to be walking and uh hamstrings feeling a little tight but i'll be fine i'll make it and um I want to say thank you, Jen, out of Durango. You helped me out a lot. Thank you for letting me stay at your place for a week and weigh out the decision to either hike out into the San Juans or just take the Great Divide alternate to Elwood Pass. Um, I just got itchy feet. I couldn't wait for the group. Sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, I'm going to make it up either way. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, you know, one continuous footpath either way to Canada. So happy to be out here and i got 18 to platoro 52 to south fork and uh i don't know uh, 80 to creed so i'm gonna pack up and get to it it's gonna be a good fucking day i don't know you right now and I pulled out my phone to check gut hook and a tick landed on my phone looks like the ticks are back they were red well 
Make sure to check myself tonight and from here on out for ticks. Standing here. Bebo, bebo. It's a plutorial and uh, I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit and then uh, keep moving. <laughs> What's up y'all? It is roughly 5 o'clock and I am 25 miles in for the day. I uh, got 7 miles to Elwood Pass and uh, there should be plenty of snow up there and uh, I guess there's some cabins up there so I'm gonna check that out and maybe uh, if I can camp in there. If not, just camp around and then uh, tomorrow I got like a little less than 25 miles to uh, South Pole. <laughs> with wood and unlocked the other one is locked and then there's a nice lovely this outhouse smells better than some hotels I've paid to stay in <laughs> got to Elwood cabin and I took a nice shit in the outhouse and I couldn't help but be blown away with how clean it was in there so I could not pass this opportunity to make it home for the night <laughs> even have a little candle I got some ambiance going <laughs> got I just make. walked out of my casa and I saw another porcupine uh oh. Bye, buddy. Have a good night. This is fucking cool. What a place to spend the night. Good morning, it's May 24th. I slept real good in here last night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I took my morning shit. I'm all packed up, but I'm gonna hit the trail. Stay tuned. Three miles in, a little bit more. Fucking hamstring, man. It was two weeks off, fuck me up. I for sure strained it or pulled it or something. It's tight. I need to stop and stretch for a bit. This feels like I have a Charlie horse right behind my knee. And on my left knee, I had knee surgery and I have a cadaver. I have no menisci, a meniscus, and uh, I could feel it's the muscles that are attached to my cadaver, not the actual cadaver. They're just tight. Well, I'm walking down this road and a gentleman on a nice little dirt bike comes cruising up and his name was out there somewhere out of South Fork. And I guess he hiked around uh, 2013 around the San Juans here but um, you know I declined many times but he insisted he I get something to eat and people just uh, 
fucking life. <laughs> it's funny, you know. I try to pay it forward as much as I can. And, uh, you know, it's not always in the form of tender or something tangible, but <clears throat> it's pretty amazing what life will throw back at you. Funny on Gut Hook, there's all this negative bullshit about Southport and how it's a waiting room for old people and blah, 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 blah. I just had another fucking car come up to me and offer to give me a lift to South Fork and you know, it was real friendly and I guess what you put out is what you get back. I had to pull over, I was feeling hangry, but it's uh, 11.36 precisely and I'm 15 miles in, I got like three more miles to the next highway. fucking hurts. I think I'm gonna try to get a hitch into Pagosa. I can return some shit at the Mountain Sports Store and the post office and uh, chill in the hot springs. Another zero there and I'll spend any money. I'll get back to you guys. So I ended up getting a ride from uh, fellow traveler Will out of Oklahoma. And he's heading, he just got, uh, got done with the Great Sand Dunes and now he's going to the Grand Canyon. So thank you, Will, I appreciate it, man. Finally got to ditch nine pounds of shit. And so I'm just down here in Pagosa. I'm gonna go return some Micro spikes and some fucking long steaks, some more weight off my back. Grab myself a brewski and hit the hot springs. And then homie at the post office, man, good people at the post office in Pagosa. And uh, we'll see if this works. Got a little local entry. Hopefully it works and I can uh, go to this hot spring spa. Maybe I could take a shower and hop in there with my stink. Yeah, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, I love Pagosa Springs. It ain't too bad being homeless around these parts. <laughs> so I met some homeless dudes that live here year round. And they're like, you know what man, we love it so much we live here even when it's 14 below underneath the bridge. Right over there. Maybe 30 seconds away. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna heal here for a little bit. Massage my leg out, my uh, so it's a sciatic nerve behind the knee. And it must be due to my two weeks and my cadaver that's hooked up to that sciatic nerve. And it's just, it's just flaring because I took all that time off. So I'll push through it, I can walk. I'll be good to go. But I wanna thank y'all for watching. Um, I mean, I can't think it enough. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for being so positive with all the feedback, all the comments. Um, be sure to subscribe with all your friends, family, coworkers, what have you. Um, take a moment in the day, get outside, you know, connect with what's around you. Don't pick up the next thing. And uh, yeah, happy hiking. Thank you for watching, y'all.